Do you have one of these at home? It's a cast iron pan with rust all in the bottom of this pan. Well, maybe somebody put it in the dishwasher or maybe you left it and didn't dry it properly and so the rust formed. And how do you get rid of it? Well, that's what today's video is about. I'm gonna show you how to remove that rust with hopefully things that you already have at home. And then I'm gonna show you how to reseason it and bring it back to life. So let's get into this. There are a number of different ways that you can get the rust out of these pans, but today I'm gonna to show you that I'm using an SOS pad, like, like this one here, that's a steel wool pad, to get that rust out. Now, this is the only time that you can use soap in a cast iron pan, because what we're doing is we're, we're getting the rust out, we're just eliminating all the seasoning that's in there, so we don't have to worry about the soap getting into that and then transferring into our food. That's why you can use soap at this point. Now, if you don't have an SOS pad, another thing you can use is some coarse kosher salt, which I have right here. And uh, this is a non-abrasive type scouring pad that you can use to work that in and remove the rust. So stick around towards the end of this video. I'm gonna show you how uh, to cook an egg in this pan after we've seasoned it and to see how well it really turned out. See if that egg will stick or not. So I'm gonna take my steel wool pad, get it wet, and then I'm gonna place it in the, pe in the pot and start scrubbing. Now this is gonna be the point where you spend the most time working on this because it's gonna take some muscle to get rid of that rust. And if for some reason you can't get it all out, then, then we resort to maybe the second thing, using salt. But right now I can see the color of the water has changed and that rust is lifting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the pan. There is a little bit of rust on the handle, so I'm just gonna do the whole darn thing. And since I can't really see the bottom of the pan very well, I'm probably going to flip this over, do the other side, and then come back to this. I think you can see already it's looking pretty good. Look at that. So I'm gonna flip it over and just give a little scrub once over on the whole thing. Now we're gonna be seasoning the whole pan, inside, outside, upside down, handles, every nook and cranny that we've got. And this SOS pad is doing a great job of getting rid of that rust. Okay, now we're gonna give it one more very thorough rinse because we don't want any soap left on this pan. I'm gonna wipe the pan with some paper towels of any excess water, and then we're gonna place it on the stove. Here's one thing you don't wanna do ever, and that's with a cast iron pan. If it's hot off the stove, you never wanna put cold water into a hot pan because what'll happen is it could crack your pan. So just keep that in mind. After letting the pan heat up for say, maybe you know a minute or two, turn off the heat and then we're, we'll let it cool for just a second and then we're gonna apply some oil. Now we need to moisturize or oil our pan. And the question is, well, what kind of oil should you use? Well, there's all kinds of opinions out there. Some people swear by flaxseed oil, which that is fine. If you wanna to go to the store and buy that just for this, I don't have that personally. And I think any oil that you use pretty much will work. Uh, I like to use avocado oil because that's what I have. I use avocado oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. Probably coconut oil would work as well. But um, you can use canola oil, vegetable oils, use whatever you have just as long as you do it and that will take care of your pan. So I will pour in a tablespoon or so and you wanna rub this oil all over the pan. It's a little bit warm yet, so I'm gonna use a pot holder. And we wanna get every nook and cranny here. The handle, you know, the, the, the lip, the bottom, and in fact, I'm gonna put some more on the bottom. Really wanna make sure that every inch of this pan is covered with oil. The handle and inside the little crevices there. Now you'll see I'm doing this in a sheet pan here just to keep the oil contained and not get all over my counter or my cutting board. All right, so really give it a good rub. Be generous and then I have my oven preheated to 500 degrees. We're gonna put this in there so that it can actually bake in and start creating our seasoning. Now you wanna wipe out any excess oil at this point so that it's not you know, dripping all over the place. So really wipe it out and we're gonna place it in the oven upside down. That way 
If there's any leftover oil, it's gonna drip out. And we'll put a little sheet of foil in there to catch any drips. But there shouldn't be any, because you're gonna wipe it out really well. So getting the rust off of that pan was, in my view, fairly simple and easy to do. It did take a little bit of elbow grease, but hey, you know, no big deal. So once you get that off, of course, we put it in the oven and usually you leave it in for about an hour. But when you take all the finish off like we did, you're gonna wanna season it more than one time. It's just not gonna have enough. And every time you use the pan, of course, it's gonna build a little more seasoning as long as you do it properly. So what I'm gonna do just for the sake of the videos, I'm gonna take that out. It's gonna be super hot. You gotta be careful. That pan is, you know, a good 500 degrees. And I'm gonna apply another coat of our avocado oil and put it back in for another half an hour. And I might do that three times just to speed up the, the building of the coat, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So while we're waiting for our pan to really cook up in the oven, I got a chef joke for you. Here we go. What alloy contains magical properties? <laughs> Cast iron. <laughs> if you're finding this video helpful, let me know by smashing the like button. So here's what the pan looks like after one seasoning for 30 minutes, and we're gonna do this two more times. So here's the cast iron pan after three 30-minute seasonings, which definitely isn't enough. You have to continue to use this in order to build a nice finish. So let's do our test and see where we're at. So we'll take our pan, put it over medium-high heat, add some avocado oil, and get it hot. So how do you know the oil's hot? Well, mine starts to smoke a bit. So once it's hot, we're gonna drop an egg into this, one of the hardest things to cook, as they like to stick. Even though I hate to say it, it's sticking pretty good. Now really what this means is that the pan is not seasoned enough. So what I've done is I've continued to cook with this pan several times, and I've used it maybe six, seven times. I've cooked potatoes mostly and vegetables in here, some bacon, just to get it seasoned up overall before I give it back to my friend. So now I'm gonna show you by cooking an egg again, how well it's improving. Okay, so we'll place our pan over medium high heat, add some avocado oil to it, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, let it get hot, swirl that oil around, and crack that egg into the pan. Fingers crossed, everybody. Looking pretty good. So here's what's left on the bottom of the pan. I think that's pretty darn good and it's only gonna get better. So here's a recap. After you cook something in the pan, let it cool, use hot water or whatever temperature the pan is and just rinse it out, scrape it out, then wipe it out with a towel or a paper towel. Place it on the stove, dry it out, add some more oil, wipe out any excess oil, and let that heat up and get hot for another five minutes, and then you're good to go. Let it cool and put it away. These pans are amazing. They will last a lifetime if you do the, just a few simple things to take care of them. You just have to keep up with it, and just don't let the water sit in it or you know put it in the dishwasher. Basically, don't let it rust. And you can just continue to build that finish, and it will be practically non-stick. Now that your cast iron pan is well seasoned, I'll bet you wanna try it out on a delicious filet mignon. I'll leave a link for you right here on the screen. You can check that out and make such a delicious meal just as a, a little reward after restoring your cast iron pan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when my new videos come out every week and leave me a comment. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.